In the general election, he falls three or four points behind, percentage points behind uh, the Democratic nominee. And in 17 states, red states, they will be put into place you know, mechanisms to strip those states of those votes and to substitute Republican votes. That will bring us into a constitutional crisis and could split the country in two. That's what a lot of people are fearing uh, right now. And, Jamie, you heard a Republican congresswoman, Liz Cheney, uh, condemn fellow Republicans for selling Americans what she calls the fraud of the big lie. How worried are Republicans behind the scenes? And I know, Jamie, you're doing a lot of reporting about this, uh, about a possible Trump 2024 run. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, a 12 plus, as, as David just said, <laughs> They think this is a nightmare scenario. I spoke to one very senior Republican strategist who said to me that this is a slow motion tsunami, that democracy as we know it is over. Uh, the question obviously is, is there a way to stop it? And when I talk to my Republican sources, some think that uh, absolutely Trump is running and that, you know, he could win. Some say the Republican Party will split. Others say that's not realistic. But the big concern that I hear over and over again, Wolf, is that this fact that democracy is in peril is real. They consider it a five alarm fire. And they are really worried that too many Americans are in denial about how close to the edge we are. Yeah, it's a really, really enormous concern. You know, Preet, uh, I want you to watch and our viewers to watch what Bill Maher is predicting about the 2024 election. Watch this. Some presidents spend their post-presidency building homes for the poor or raising money for charity or painting their toes. <laughs> Trump has spent his figuring out how to pull off the coup he couldn't pull off last time. Here's the easiest three predictions in the world. Trump will run in 2024, he will get the Republican nomination, and whatever happens on election night, the next day he will announce that he won. 2024 comes, and Democrats treat it as a normal election year. They are living in a dream world, where their choice of candidate matters, their policies matter, the number of votes they get matters. None of it does. I won't even predict who the Democratic nominee will be, because it doesn't matter. It could be Biden, it could be Harris, it could be Amy Klobuchar, it could be Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> as long as they have a D by their name, they will be portrayed as the leader of the army of Satan. But even if they win, Trump won't accept it. The ding-dongs who sacked the Capitol last year, that was like when Al-Qaeda tried to take down the World Trade Center the first time with a van. It was a joke. But the next time they came back with planes, I hope I scared the shit out of you. Oh, well, what about that, uh, Preet? Uh, did he? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not that Bill Maher is saying it. It's that I think every reasonable thinking person has to, uh, I think, agree that those predictions are easy. The only question is, does, does Donald Trump want to run for president again? Nothing constitutionally or legally uh, precludes it. It could have been legally and constitutionally precluded had he been convicted in the Senate. Uh, in the impeachment trial uh, and then barred from seeking office again. That did not happen. That didn't happen in part, as the other panelists have suggested. You have Republican after Republican who has sat by and abided by it. So if Donald Trump chooses to run, I don't see any circumstance in which he doesn't get the nomination uh, and makes the declaration of victory no matter what, and is engaged in what Fiona Hill has been saying recently uh, was a dress rehearsal, understanding now the weaknesses in their coup attempt and shoring up those weaknesses by changing the laws in the states where the laws were not in their favor. And I think it's, a, I'll throw out a, another example of something that we should be worried about, not as likely as Donald Trump running for president in 2024, but there's nothing that legally precludes, maybe people don't appreciate this, there's nothing that legally precludes Donald Trump from becoming the Speaker of the House in 2022 if Republicans take back the House. It sounds far-fetched, it sounds outlandish. Does it really sound more outlandish than Donald Trump becoming president? Uh, if you were thinking about it and talking about it back in 2014 or 2015, and then think about what kind of circus you would have then and what other kinds of things would be put in place structurally, politically, and otherwise for the return of Donald Trump in 2024. Yeah, so everybody should be concerned, not to curse on television, but I think Bill Maher is exactly correct. Well, let me get uh, David and Jamie to react to that. Uh, Jamie, let me go to you first. 
Uh, I'm afraid I don't even think it's outlandish. I think the only thing that maybe prevents that is that he wants to run in 2024. My Republican sources are scared. They are furious at Mitch McConnell. They feel he could have stopped this. But what they say every single day is that every day that Donald Trump is out there doing these rallies, perpetuating the big lie, he is perpetuating a clear and present danger, and they are very worried about more violence, Wolf.